Hello everyone, welcome to SEO Explains. Today we're going to be talking about an unusual occurrence of the Supreme Court, the Chief Justice being in a minority in a Constitution bench case. On 18th October this year, a five-judge bench of the Supreme Court held that sexual minorities did not have a right to marry. Though this bench, led by Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, agreed on this central question, it split 3-2 on sexual minorities' right to a state-recognized civil union and adoption rights. The CJI, interestingly, was in the minority in this judgment. At a first glance, this may not seem interesting at all. In a five-judge bench, dissents are expected and are welcome. As the CJI himself said, dissent is the safety valve of democracy. A closer look, however, shows that the Chief Justice hardly ever dissents in a constitution bench. In fact, since 1950, a CJI has dissented all of 13 times in a constitution bench case. Legal scholar Nick Robinson and others explain, that the Indian Supreme Court is Chief Justice dominant. As master of the roster, the CJI is tasked with assigning cases to judges and handpicking judges to hear constitution bench cases. With constitution benches where the court is deciding substantial questions of law, there appears to be no discernible pattern to how judges for these benches are chosen by the CJI. Robinson suggests that the Chief Justice is potentially picking benches that are more likely to decide in a way that he favours. Professor George Gadboy's research takes the example of Chief Justice K. Subarao. Before being appointed as Chief Justice, CJI Rao dissented 48 times, often with strong anti-government judgments, and this is more often than any other judge in the Supreme Court's history. In his 9.5-month tenure as CJI, not once did he have to dissent with the majority. Gadboy notes that in CJI Rao's tenure as Chief, there were 167 cases against the Union, of which private parties won 83 times a high winning rate not seen under any of his predecessors. In conversation with SEO, Dr. Aparna Chandra had this to say. So therefore, just to say, 88% of the time, the Chief Justice is on the bench and is on a dissent in absolutely negligible amount of cases, which therefore suggests that the only principle that is working is the Chief Justice being able to carry the majority with them, which is an incredible power and it's, it's a power where, you know, they keep saying that the Chief Justice is first amongst equals, which only means that on the judicial side, the Chief Justice has the same power as any other judge. It's just that they have some other administrative powers. That's clearly not the case. The administrative power is shaping judicial outcomes. These case-specific allocations is where the Chief Justice's power becomes most uh, salient. Because law is an interpretive exercise, who sits on the bench becomes very uh, important. So what does it mean then that 15% of Chief Justices who have dissented in a constitution bench were in the last two years alone? In 2022, CJI UU Lalit was in the minority with Justice S. R. Bhatt in the challenge to reservations for economically weaker sections. He's followed now by the incumbent CJI in the plea for marriage equality. Before that, it was 2017 when CJI J.S. Kehar dissented in the judgment that declared the practice of triple talaq unconstitutional. Perhaps this is indicative of a gradual shift towards ensuring the presence of an ideologically diverse bench. This hypothesis will soon be put to test, with a sharp increase in the number of constitution bench cases being heard at the Supreme Court. The fact remains, however, that in constitution bench allocation, the CJI continues to assign the cases to himself. In the court's recent exercise of hearing and clearing pending constitutional bench cases, the court set up five judge benches, that is to hear um, challenge to extend reservations in the Lok Sabha and state legislative assemblies, the challenge to immunity enjoyed by lawmakers against bribery charges, and the Assam NRC case. The immunity from bribery case, that is Sita Soren versus Union of India, was referred to a seven judge bench. Another seven judge bench heard the challenge to the validity of an unstamped arbitration agreement. Interestingly, the CJI has presided over all these cases. Stay tuned to SEObserver.in where we will be tracking key Supreme Court cases and big institutional developments. Make sure to sign up to our daily WhatsApp and Telegram updates. Thank you for watching.